specific answer to your question. First of all, I'd like to, you know, bring about a very fundamental process of uh, how the society builds up a corpus of knowledge. As of now, in the modern world, the most popular thing is the uh, science, modern science. So modern science, they have their way of uh, getting the observations through the senses, five senses, or through instruments, gross instruments. And ultimately, they correlate things and find out what is the cause of something. And then they further go find out what is the cause of that. And they go deeper and deeper. And this is how they built up the knowledge, the scientific knowledge. That is fine. But then there's a very different process of acquiring knowledge, which was practiced, which is practiced by a few like us, which was practiced in India. This system itself was not aware to me till I read Srila Prabhupada's books. That was a very major impact on me. This process, the first process is in, in Sanskrit is called Arohapanta, the path of ascending process. And this, the other process is called Avarohapanta. In Avarohapanta, ready-made knowledge, that means when facts are, have come into existence, the knowledge about that also exists. Somewhere in the universe, if universe, universe exists, the knowledge of the universe also exists. It is a question of how we tune ourselves to that particular vibration and receive that knowledge. Beautiful. And this knowledge, by the way, spans not only the gross world, which the science is limited to, it spans into a mind, intellect, ego, finer aspects of existence. So these aspects, as far as modern science is concerned, they can't touch it. Because by definition, they are circumscribed. I won't go beyond my five senses. But reality is far more complex than that. The very scientist, he uses his mind, he doesn't know what that mind is. He uses intelligence, he doesn't know what it is, what it is made up of. But our scriptures, they say, it's a substance. It is not a, it is not a, you know, permutation combination of chemicals. So, as a, I used to be a software engineer. Yeah. So, I'm going to uh, try to uh, state it in a <coughs> framework that uh, I understand as a software engineer, maybe many of the people here. One of the things software, junior software engineers have to do is to figure out what is the software trying to do which somebody else wrote. So I am this young guy, I am thrown this program, the person who wrote it is gone, he did not leave documentation, there is no user manual in those days and my job is to reverse engineer and build all the flowcharts. He didn't leave any flowcharts behind, he just vanished and I have to externally try what the software does if I do this and it's not even source code is not available, it's all machine language code. So now I have to do bottom up, keep discovering, keep, in, keep doing experiments with how the system behaves. If I enter this, it does this, if I enter this, it does that. So I is, imagine this is must be the flowchart, how it is running. So this is bottom up discovery of how this mechanism works. Now what you are telling me is that however, whoever, however it came about, that mind has a design of it. That mind of the original source has a design of it. Yes. So there is, if I keep doing this trial and error, I will keep coming up with partial truths. I will never come up with the real original flowchart of that mind. Exactly. Whereas, whereas if I could connect with that being. Exactly. If I could connect with that being, call him up and say, listen, bhai, I am in trouble now, these guys will fire me, you please tell me. 
that person has the capacity to say, Are you, what you figured out is all wrong. Here is how the flowchart is because that person wrote the program and did design the whole cosmos. He, he knows how it works. He can tell me the knowledge. So what you are saying is, if something exists like this particular program system exists, then the knowledge about it also exists because that was used to create it. Right. So if, if reality exists, then knowledge of the reality at the highest ultimate level also exists. Yes. So rather than the method of science which is called empiricism, and right. science is very proud of it, right. which is a bottom-up method, try this, try that, document the data, see what works and keep constructing reverse engineering. So all the knowledge that science is getting is reverse engineering the cosmic machine. Right. Whereas what you are saying is there is a source code, there is the original design structure right. by the creator and we human beings have access to it if we were to get the right methodology. Yeah. Is that correct? Yes, right. Okay. The way to get that right methodology, <laughs> the real issue is, as you rightly said, it's a communication. So now